Hey guys, going to be an unboxing of the HADI by Corsair. This is a closed loop water cooling solution. Uh, what this is, is uh, the Corsair, what they did was they took the H80 and they took it off the market and they replaced it with the HADI. It's an HAD with Corsair Link installed at the most basic state. Uh, it still comes with, you know, two SP120L fans, which aren't exactly SP120L, I'm going to show you later, once I open this box here. Uh, it still comes with a 120 by 152 by 38 millimeter radiator, single rad, one, two, one. Uh, it has both support for Intel and AMD. Here in the back here, shows pointless graphs that really don't show anything because you know never trust these not all the time especially when it especially when it doesn't even say the temperature the second one only says fail the intel box cooler and here it shows the accepted sockets and read them off the box here intel lga 1150 1155 1156 1366 2011 and for amd it is am2 am3 fm1 and fm2 now the sockets on the back here, you can definitely use this cooler on an FM2 or AM3 plus, FM2 plus and AM3 plus uh, sockets because of AMD and AMD's uh, likelihood to to uh, use the same type of you know, connector for the fans. I'll be opening this now to show you guys the interior. Handy dandy knife. Take off the plastic here. This is, this is a refurbished model, so what worries me is on the inside, it won't really have everything, but we'll find out. I bought this off Newegg, Newegg.com, for $69.99 refurbished, usually the new model costs $89.99, there's a big difference in cost there. So. Well, you'll be finding out with me whether this has everything. I'm just going to throw it on the floor there. Who needs those? It's just to show you guys here. It has, does have a one year warranty and it is refurbished. Hopefully that shows it correctly. Let's try to open this up here. There we go. Ooh, it's a nice little thing here. Ooh, okay, awesome. So here brings a little a little booklet. A bunch of course there products. Throw that on the floor. Oops, I dropped something. Here it is. Uh this is just a warranty against defix. You know if you're an, if you're Australian then there's different stuff for there. Here is the manual. It shows all the parts here which is definitely necessary and how to mount it correctly onto your things here which is definitely useful awesome I like this booklet here nice closed cell packing foam it's good to see that now here is the good stuff the stuff you paid for now, let's take out Lots of packing material here. Here's one of the wow, this is a heavy. Here's one of the two SP125. I'm going to take one out just to show you the difference between these two. Uh, good sign here. This is significantly heavy. It really is. Um, now, here's the difference between the, SP, the real SP120s and these. Uh, as you can see, no interchangeable ring and no rubber grommets. Yeah, but definitely still very high quality fans from Corsair. It brings two of those fans. Uh, here is, oh, okay, this is cool. I'm going to show you guys this. Now this, this here is the PWM fan splitter. It is. brings little caps. Look at that. PWM, four pins. Nice. 
Now this, this is the basically the entire reason why this is the HADI. Here, let me see if it focuses. I guess it's not going to focus. Well, this is a uh, mini USB connector, and this is a USB 2.0 connector. You connect this little baby onto your radiator. Well, not your radiator, I'm sorry, your pump. You connect this to the motherboard connector for the USB 2. And you can access uh, it, you know, it acts as a, as a USB connection. And it, it basically allows Corsair Link to uh, access all the information about the pump and whatnot. Okay, that's cool. What else is in here before I take out the pump here? Oh, okay. Lots of mounting hardware, usually a good sign. I'll be checking to see if everything's here. Okay, oh, okay. And the. I'm going to show you right now. The mounting brackets for Intel. Here. There's the Intel mounting bracket. And the AMD mounting bracket. From what it really seems here, I don't think this needs a back plate. But, you know, I haven't really read the manual correctly. Well, at all. So, we'll find out. And, here's the good stuff. I'll be move, removing this here. And a piece of paper falls over. There. there we go. Now, this is the cool stuff here. Let me just take that off. Okay, wow, this is the thick radiator. Now, here is the is the pump. Here is the US mini USB connector. Uh, here are the connectors for the fans. If you or if you choose to, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, the fans. Check. Yes, for the fans. The span splitters here. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not exactly sure what this is here. I'll be reviewing the manual for that. And as you can see, this is the this is the radiator. I can see right through it. At least a little bit. Some very thick. What this is here? This is aluminum. This is an aluminum radiator. Let's see, it's 32 millimeters by you know by uh, 120. 153 and 120. Here you have 3 8 inch thick tubing, which is different from the uh, HADI, HAD, I'm sorry, not HADI. I'm mixing up words today. It's different from the HAD because the HAD had, if I'm not mistaken, half inch tubing instead of 3 8 Now, this is interesting here. This is a SATA power port. This is uh, basically different from, you know, from the uh, from Molex. We're moving from Molex to SATA, and here is the three-pin power connector for the fans and stuff. I think it's for the LED, if I'm not mistaken. Now, let's look at the mounting hardware. Well, first off, I'll show you something special about this stuff. Here, just uh, get in here. Let me zoom in a little bit. A little bit. Yes, nice zoom in. All right, here we go. You see these little stuff right here? This is a magnet. You, it's all magnetized. Magnetic power. Yes. Put that for Intel. Let's put there. So you don't need any special, you know, mounting hardware to mount it here. It's not going to be difficult to mount it onto the pump. You're just going to have magnet magnets here instead of screws, which is cool. I like that. I really wish a bunch of other pump manufacturers, I'm not sure if they do, but it's a nice little plastic, I'm going to leave it on there for now. Uh, I think that's everything, if I'm going to say, let me look at the box, yes, something else, just mounting hardware, all the little thingamabobbers that you need to install all your fans and stuff, and I'll be counting that when I need to. Now, I'll be right back as I go for the installation of this thing, shall we? Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and do the installation of the HADI. 
I already went ahead and removed the stock heatsink and pan here. To do that, what I did, I just, uh, you know, basically I just uh, heated up the system a little bit and wiggled it, un unlatched it, wiggled it around, and, you know, basically just took it out. Now, I already went ahead and also cleaned off the CPU, the old thermal paste, which is very important if you want the good contact. Um, you would have to you'd have to get toilet paper, I use toilet paper, you can use paper towel or a lint free cloth and put some alcohol on it and I went to get away and I decided to get some perfume and put it on there and not recommended but it's all I had so alright so as an add on to my earlier statement I know this is the same video but I did notice something I don't know if you see that you can tell this is refurbished they did not fix that it's just paint, I'm sure, but it's fine. And uh, also, I found uh, some bent. You know, the radios. Uh, some of the fins were bent. Some of the fins are bent on this side, I think. But it's fine. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I got it for sixty-nine ninety-nine. It's fine. Okay. So the first step is basically I'm gonna remove my old case fan here that I have put with rubber grommets. Always remember to relieve yourself of of a uh, static. That's always a great idea. Oh, oh, that's a problem. I have it connected to Molex as well in the back. Right now, I'll just leave it in the back here like that. Later, when I'm uh, when I'll start cable management, I'll do that. Right, so let's pull out one of these. Uh, I'm just gonna. And just the area see where it fits. This one as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the radiator. Have the pump facing this way, so I'm just uh, find the way there. Well, sorry guys, I ran into a few problems. I'd actually forgotten to put uh, little washers onto the things onto these things so that uh, screwed me over and while I was recording my stand fell so I just went ahead and put the first two on the corners on just so you wouldn't miss out but I'm going to tell you that was extremely hard to do and at least to me it seemed like this radiator had some clearance issues or well, has still has it's I mean, like a clearance issue when it comes to screwing in these things because I think the fins are actually blocking the screws from going in but it's not a problem you just force them a little bit so here I'm putting in the last screw on the corner hopefully this goes in correctly and there's the first fan going to be blowing air out of the case. I mean, some may say that it's a bad idea because it's blowing hot air out of the case, but in reality, come on, seriously, it's not really that big of a deal. We ran into our, our, our first missing parts, guys. Two, four washers for this fan are missing, so there's no washers for this fan. That means I'm going to have to put it only with the screws. I don't see a problem with it. It's just, it's just, it's just some washers. The final screw is being put in. Here is the final screw. All right, there it is. Now we have a few steps left here. Oh. I see an issue. Well, the pump doesn't fit. So, yeah, after fiddling around with it, I figured out that the radiator wasn't going to fit unless I did something really ghetto. And what I did was put the back fan 
on the outside of my case. Yeah. So that was hard to do, and I managed to fit the tubing throughout there, and cable, you know, manage the cables as much as I could around. So yeah, and I'm going to turn it on and see what happens. Okay, so we're going to boot up for the first time after installing that. As you can see, we have all the paper towels there, just in case, because we bent these a lot. I had to get help from my dad to actually put these on here, so it was kind of difficult. Let's flip the switch back. And the moment of truth. Oh god, they're really loud. It boots up. Doesn't seem like there's any leaks. Ah, little lights are popping up, that's a good sign. Okay. Okay, that means it booted into Windows. Looks in, looking great. All right, all right, guys. That's the H80i from Corsair. I'll, I'll put some temperatures in the description. Like and subscribe, please. Helps a lot. All right. Thank you for watching my first video on YouTube.